Alrighty then. Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming here with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, I decided we'd get a little closer to uh, Deacon and where he was standing for the mission. And then a firefight erupted over there, and I figured I'd try and get a bit of it before something blew up. Looks like I was semi in time. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, go over to Deacon now. Since all of that fun's been dealt with. Hi there. Deacon, is that you? Like that's a good guy, question. That's... It's Wastelander Camo. Okay, it's that's fair. Pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? Eh. You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps too. I'm sorry, face swaps? What? You can change your face. I what? put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. Really? You can do that? That? Not much of a disguise. I mean, you can tell the face. Wig and some lice-ridden clothes. Ew. Surprised how that, that, that's stand a little farther away from me. Clipboard. But about the job. I, I don't trust the power armor when it comes to lice. <laughs> Church. Our okay. Our base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. Oh. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Oh. Your base was under a donut shop? It's a lot better than it sounds. Well, it was, until it was blown to hell. Okay. That's fair. What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute... The Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. Oh, shit. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. Well, yeah, of course. So, we're getting something important we had to leave behind. Are we? What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. Mm -hmm. I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. All right. He or she has information on the base. So, let's pump him for information before we dive in. For you now, could just use they. Point. You could just use they. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. Okay. <laughs> you just hoped it would, didn't you? Tourist should have a trail for us. Well, here's hoping. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. Hey. Tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Well, here's hoping anyway. But, uh, that's a good thing to keep in mind. That's, uh, the symbology for the railroad. Which is what I was assuming all this time, so. Oh! Took me! Took me, no! What'd you do? Where'd you run off to? You doofy dog! Got another rail sign. Right there. Oh, yeah? On the sign there. So keep going further. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, school's all over the place, so you're not the slightest bit worried about that. I mean, I am. So, I mean, if you're not, I'm uh, going to be a little concerned. Really? Who, who puts a recon scope on a fucking combat rifle? I was going to say combat... Uh, shotgun, then I realized no, that's a rifle thing. Okay, that's that's goofy. That's just outright goofy. Got a... Yep, nothing good on him. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hey, you gotta salvage what you can. Oh, fuck. Well, speaking of... Gotta salvage this situation. Oh, didn't need two shots on him. But probably will... Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. I did need two shots. Don't know what happened there. Does Deacon have a rifle? Yep. I figured that was going to blow up. I blame Kate for that. Because she was the one firing wild Lake Kate. Give you an automatic weapon, then this is what we get. Things blowing up. Oh, fuck off. 
Okay, I think I got enough shots in him. Um, there we go. Really? Missing it point blank. That's bad. Whoop. Fuck you. Go down. There we go. Well. That's some stuff, anyway. Ooh. Cool. Come on. I'll take that. What we got here? Sequin dress. <laughs> I don't think that's Kate's style much. Uh, Deacon? You having a... You having a problem there? Buddy? Oh, boy. Um... Maybe I'll just walk on ahead while you guys are figuring out the collision on those, uh... On those things. Ricky Dalton! Okay, he was semi-right. I can see a rat road from here? Ew. Has he been just using those ghouls for cover then, or what? Because it looked like he hadn't dealt with them at all. No matter what he says, you just say mine is in the shop. Trust me. Alright. Sure. Whatever you say. Mine is in the shop. Alright, I can do this. Cloak and dagger bullshit. Hi there, Ricky. Once your friend gets here, how about we have a chat? Well, there he is. Okay, well. Oh, thank God. You have a Geiger counter? You have a goddamn Geiger counter? Uh. Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. I'm sorry, All what? Right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. About goddamn time. Down. All right. Are you in danger? I signed on for light recon, but that little slocum's jaw of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome since sons of bitches. Oh. If I haven't been made yet, I'll be spotted when I leave here. I'm goddamn trapped. Okay. All right. All right. Calm down. They place mines all over the goddamn place. All right. That's fair. What do you mean by chrome dome synths? You know them. Early model since. Early. Okay. Looks like All right. metal wrapped over mechanical innards. You see them here and there doing who knows what for the Institute. Yeah, that's fair. I'm just making sure that I got the uh, model right. Considering you're kind of pissed they off. Have a minefield? Yeah, the mother of all minefields. I couldn't draw you a map if I tried. All right. That's fair. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Is there anything else I can ask you? Hey, Ricky. You need something else? Oh. Oh. You scavenge anything that can help us? We're risking our lives out there. Oh, hell. I suppose I could... Never knew that anything. could be done. Deaths on my conscience. That's new. Oh, hey! Thank you for the stim packs. Medics. Pork and beans. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. We're assaulting the base. Once we strike, use your rifle to pick off anyone you can see. A lot of lives are depending on us. It's always just one more goddamn thing until I'm six feet under or bleeding out some goddamn Yeah, I bitch. figured. Screw you. I figured that we were pushing it a little bit. That's fair. That's fair. You know what? That's fair. I understand. I understand your point entirely. Excuse me. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? Do you think he's telling the truth? Well, I mean... Speaking of truth... Yeah. Why did you lie to Ricky? My job in the railroad is intel. That job's easier if no one knows who I am. Oh, uh, so, okay. I lied. I do that. So you. So have we can't trust anything you I say. I to watch from the sidelines. Go team us. All right. Yeah, good Why question. Did Ricky lie? 
People always got reasons to lie. The okay. Institute could have turned him. Or more likely, he's just seriously pissed off at us. Take your pick. I'm willing to bet the latter, but even then I don't think he would lie about it. I mean He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So if we take him at his word. The front door mm -hmm. has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. Well, I mean... The wait, what? The has an escape tunnel? What? Doesn't everyone have an escape tunnel? Seriously, though? Thank God for that tunnel. If yeah, that's fair. That, there wouldn't be any railroad left. That's true. Also, I, I, we've been running into a lot of escape tunnels in our gameplays, haven't we? Shadow of War, and this. Yeah, this is a whole lot of... Uh, a <laughs> whole lot of them seems to be the case all right uh... I say we go through the front door minefield or not what if you think we got the mojo for that I'll back your play you first no, of course me first well I mean I think we can do it but then again I think we can do a lot of shit that uh none of these guys are willing to do Hardened sniper rifle, and I'm worth it. That's worth it. Uh, Raider leathers, eh. Not too much worth it. Alright. So. Slocum Joe's would be down that way. Is that what it is? Well, I need to scope to actually see. Yep, it looks like that's the case. It's all down that way. Well, we're not getting any support from Ricky, so... What'd you find? Are you just gonna sit there and bark at me? Okay. Let's follow him, and then we'll check out how we can get down there. Honestly, I'm, I'm more leaning towards jumping down there. Doggo, we already just checked this. But. <sighs> Dog made to love you, but you're a doofus. Alright. I'm sure the rest of them will follow me eventually. Down we go! <laughs> uh, there's always that momentary, like, oh shit, what did I do? What did I do to myself? And then, slam! <laughs> It's always a fun part. Alright. Even though it completely breaks physics entirely, but fuck it. Oh. Yeah, he wasn't kidding. There's mines all over. Just trying to get... Oh, the synths are inside, are they? Alright, well... Keep an eye over here. Really, that didn't hit at all. It did, it just wasn't paying attention. Alright, there we go. Really? They are really bad at their job. I'm, I'm literally picking them off from here, and they're not doing a goddamn thing. Oh, shit. Walked just out of my range of movement. Just at the moment I fucking went down scope. Son of a bitch. Gotta love that. There goes that one. I don't think there's any more. There are still a ton of mines. get out of the range of movement there. Nope, I don't see anything else. Alright. I think we've taken them all out. Unless there's some I cannot see from here. Just further down that way. Nope. Nada. Get right mine over there. Gotcha. 
None of them down that way. I think we cleared it. Hilariously, they didn't bother paying attention enough to actually try hunting me. It's actually kind of nice. Or... Oh. So much for a polite approach. Shut up, Kate. <laughs> Welp. Uh... <laughs> It just finally struck me that maybe, maybe, because we're semi-buddy-buddy with the Institute, they're not going to attack me. Huh. Or at least buddy-buddy enough that I can get into the Institute, no problem. Alright. Well. If that's the case, no wonder they didn't hunt me down. Oh. There's a frag mine there. Is that... Nope, that's not one over there. I thought it was. There we go. Is there something down there? seeing the uh, hidden bar keep decreasing a bit but I can't see who would be seeing me uh, that explains it okay oh, there's still some frag mines down here figure I might as well clean all of them out there we are Um, what was that about? Um, that was your fault. <laughs> that was not my fault. Okay. What the oh, shit. Okay, well, we got them. Where the fuck did Deacon go? And did have did any of those explosions have anything to do with it? Is what I want to know. I uh, have a feeling it does, but uh, we haven't gotten a message that essentially says Deacon is dead or anything, so... It's probably a good thing. Oh. Oh. Maybe ghouls was a problem. Also, there's Deacon. The fuck were you doing? You dingus? Alright. See if there's anything good in here. Ooh. Got some good stuff there. An adjustable wrench. Always nice. Ooh, we got coolant. I'll take that. Eh, I'll take those. Why not? Alright. It looks like there's also something in here. Chalk. Alright. That's good for the asbestos, if I remember right. Alright. Let's go in. Now that we've essentially cleared the front door. What is this? A laundromat. Okay. We've entirely cleared the front door. Well, kind of. Still that weird noise. Huh. Jeez. Plates all over the place. Uh, fusion cell synth component. Eh, synth institute pistols are not that valuable when it comes to resources. Honestly. Oops. That's from the... I already cleared that. Okay. Pre-war money. Take that. Uh, hot plate. Take that. That that and that um, toaster apparently doesn't have enough useful components for me to be wanting it <laughs> this thing still sounds like it's going it's the doofiest thing all right you got oh i took your head clean off 
That's what I did. Wow. Alright. That's a thing. Uh. Got all your bits. Where's the other one? I distinctly remember taking out three. Huh. That's concerning. Eh. Oh well. Not enough my problem for me to be concerned. Especially considering I have other people to take care of it. Should I be wrong? <laughs> Alright. Get all the good stuff out of here before we go down. Eh, actually, let's go up. See what's up here. Oh, the third body was up here. That's right. Oh, that's where this one was coming from. That explains a lot. Got you. Good stuff. Well, <laughs> there goes Fusion Core. Should have expected that. All right, down to go. Front door cleared. At least this time I didn't use an escape tunnel to get into a place. Damn it. Didn't want to be two games in a row that I had to do that. Is someone oh, shit. The flying fuck happened. What the flying fuck happened? <laughs> Sounds like Deacon is stuck on the other side of the fucking wall. Elevator isn't functioning. Shit. Alright. Well. Went through all that effort just for it not to work out. On top of the fact, Deacon seems to be stuck on the other side, getting shot at. Presumably. Well. <sighs> All right. Okay. Let's go back. Where's the fucking secret entrance then? It's got to be close by. If you're going to force me to do it, it's got to be close. Yep, it's over there. Alrighty. Onward we go. Is that a thing? Nope, that's a thing. Cool. All right, oh, frame rate hitches are not fun, let me tell you. So it's my nervousness over a freeze on edge, which is an entirely valid nervousness, let me tell you. Here we are. Oh, had to go through the shit, all right. Entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen ones and twos. Yep. Next time you learn why we're here, we're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Doctor Carrington. Okay. What can you tell me about the Gen ones and twos? The synths didn't start off as nigh perfect copies of human beings. Yeah. The Institute. We figured that out. That level of hubris. Gen ones and twos were stepping stones along the way. The railroad's not fully united on how we feel about them. That's fair. What's there but to be divided about? Everyone wants to liberate the Gen 3s, the human looking synths. Yeah. Some of the synths in the railroad, like Glory, think we should help earlier models too. 
But mm -hmm. Gen 1s are basically the same as, well, a Protectron. So the line gets muddy. Do we defend AI rights? Terminals? Hell, turrets? Anytime it gets... Yeah, to that's up, fair. Fireworks. All the old arguments flare up. The upshot is Glory and some others won't run missions like this. I see. So it's left to the other guys who have no real problem with Gen 1s and 2s. Who's Dr. Carrington? All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. Come on. Let's find a prototype. All right. Together with you? I like our odds. Well, thank you for that. Override the security lockdown. All right. I guess we do that then. But in the meantime, I'm going to have to end the episode because we're way over time. The front door option didn't work. And then there's some weird shenanigans with that. So, we're just going to end this one for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I'll see you all in the next episode. <laughs> My fucking throat gave out. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and dealing with the shenanigans of trying to get into this cloak and dagger bullshit with the railroad. And there's a lot of it going on for you.